Hello and welcome to your two drunk aunties with Bron Lewis and Sammy Peterson. We are both of those people. I'm Sammy Peterson and I'm your auntie who pinches your cheek so hard your whole face goes numb. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Is that what happened to you? That's what happened to me. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Hey. And I'm Bron Lewis. I'm the auntie who thinks her garden is way better than her bitch neighbours. <laughs> welcome to your two drunk aunties. <laughs> Hey, hello, Bron Lewis. How are you today, please? Oh I'm going to say please after everything. That's actually polite. How are you polite. today, please? It's actually polite. It is, it is nice not to just go for it, just ask for it. Just in, just because you're asking for a question. I'm asking. Like I'm asking, asking a nice answer. question. You're That's asking right. something for me. Obviously, please. Obviously, please. How, How are, are you please? today? How are you today, please? I'm really I'm really well. You're really well. You yeah, look well. fantastic. It's school holidays. Oh, okay. Yeah. I really thought, um, I don't know, because I know you don't have kids, but you've got a giant dog. That's right. Yeah. I'm, uh, and I'm not uh, saying that's more important. Hey, I am saying it's harder though. <laughs> I'm saying it's a lot harder. More noble. And you don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. I, I've got um, three children and Comedy World ha- kind of dies down a little bit in January. Okay. And also I'm noticed in Victoria and December. It's pretty quiet in December. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. People go away. People are out of town. Where are they going? We live in the best city. What are you that's doing? That's actually true. Yeah. When I was in Brisbane, December would go off. It was just like... Con- like gigs every every yeah. night, full Christmas parties everywhere. Yeah, in Melbourne, nothing. No, if they're going to go into their little little Everyone. basement, yeah, they what sleep. Are you doing it's people like, hibernate. People just sleep for a month. So fritzling it up. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So we um. So yeah, December was pretty quiet. January's been like really quiet. I have a whiteboard on my fridge that sh- uh, sh- I've written all the gigs on. Inspirational it, so quotes kids- as well. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Live life, love. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. I'm on a diet. Uh huh. A chocolate only diet. Oh, that's fun. It is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, I'm late. Chocolate. <laughs> Rose <laughs> all day. Sense. Yeah, but that's good. That one makes sense. That one makes sense. Yeah, heaps. Um, but I've got this whiteboard on my fridge that has like uh the the month and it has all the gigs on it, so the kids to, can like feel a little bit prepared for when <sighs> I'm like I'm now yeah. tonight. Yeah. You know, they'll be like so they look. Mummy's not talking to you tonight. Exactly. Yep. Mum's a bad. Which nights is mum abandoning us? Oh Things wow. Like that, they okay. Say. Yeah. Things yeah. Things like that they say, which is fun and cute. <laughs> kids are cute. Kids and are cute. Look it up. So we can look. It's always written. Gigs always written in red. Just a okay. gig. Doesn't yep. have a details. Just says gig. Mm-hmm. And it often like throughout the year, so many red gig. Like so nothing. many nights of gigs. So many. Yeah. Almost. Because you're very popular. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I'm busy. I'm hardworking. You are hardworking. And I'm very good at my job. You no, are very no good at your job. No offence, but you're very good at your job. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so, but this uh, January, it was like, there's like five on there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. And it's starting to fill up now. But at the start, I was like, oh, God, this is so quiet. And I thought, what am I going to do? I've got all of this free time and I was like, that's it. I'm going to start writing a book. Yes. I'm going to get my show sorted. Yes. I've got all this free time. I'm going to have so much free time. But guess what, Sammy? I don't. School holidays. Kids are always there. Oh, uh, of course. Always. Okay. They're yeah. always there. I mean, the they're asking questions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. They're asking questions. Oh, yeah. At the end of each one, they say, please, though. Please. As like, long as I'm not raising please. No, you, you raise animals. them right. You raise them right. So, no book. Well, the book, no. I actually had more time when I had heaps of gigs. Yeah. Even though I really only have – I actually don't have any days off. Yeah, okay. Like, like you know, like the when you have a two-year-old – because I've got a two-year-old. Yes. Okay. 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 And he's much smaller than your dog. Okay. <laughs> okay. Much smaller. However uh, – So you say. <laughs> That's such an auntie thing to be like. So, so, so she says. Uh, Bron, Bron's busy with the kids. So she says. I asked her to come over. <laughs> so she says. She's busy. <laughs> so she says. <laughs> yeah, so you, you're going to write a book. You What's told that? me yeah, you're going to write a book. I know, and I, I know. said, no offence, but that sounds awesome. You You'd be such that. a good effing author. Thank you. Yes, thank and you. So I, I, um, and so I've started it, but then I, I, the kids always – so even today I said to um, I said to the kids, I said, listen to mummy, mummy's saying something. Mummy's writing her Jodie Pickle. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy Sisters is writing her Maeve Binchy. The Pact. Great. Sister's Keeper. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mummy is writing her Bryce Courtney. <gasps> they don't so know she it. says. So she says. I don't a know. Tap it, a tap it, a tap it. So she says. They don't. They can't read. They can. They're pretty old. But I, I saw uh, the, the, the small one went to daycare. Thank uh-huh. you, daycare. God bless you, daycare. Thanks for keeping on taking the small one. Yes. You underpaid you angels. The because they're underpaid they angels. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> and they're dead. <laughs> 
That's actually so no, there's sorry. no day kit. Oh, this is an in memoriam episode. Yeah, I just drop him in a park and I trust my guardian angels to take take care of him. It's beautiful. Fly me, guardians. And I you like, always say that. So she's sad. I get in my car. Bumper sticker says magic happens, and I drive home. Great. I got Bay on board. It's just me. I'm the Bay. <laughs> Bay on board. Toot toot. God, he's gorgeous. <laughs> So my daughters are at home and they are nine and eight and they are great. You took a They're bit of time gorgeous. with her. Yeah, eight. Hey, well, eight. Eight. Eight, 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 eight. She's eight. Okay. And they, but they were always wanting to watch telly. Yes. Like they love it. Were they watching? Oh, they love, like Olive, who's yep. nine, loves Modern Family. She oh. watched the entire, the entire, I think it's 11 seasons. Okay. She watched the entire 11 seasons in like, Two or three months. Just rocking it. Just like, it, 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 and it's not like if she could watch the entire, like she would have watched it nonstop. Yeah. And if we had not turned it off. Like she like me with Frasier. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah, both sad stories. And so I had, um, so I told, <laughs> so I'm like trying to get her, so like she watches it. So And the other night she watched the final episode and we okay. were like, oh my gosh. Ever? Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Like the end of the season, yeah. end of the whole run, end wow. of the whole show. Okay. And we were like, okay, Olive, it's over. It's, you're going to have to, I don't know. Make a human connection or something, mm. like God forbid. Yeah. And she was like, mm, I don't think so. And started back episode one, season one. She's now back. She's starting again. Have you ever done that? No. Watch the entire thing and gone back and started. Uh, no, again? no, not not right away. I've, I've Is that what you're doing with Frasier though? Yeah. But yeah. yeah, but I haven't watched Frasier in a very long time. Like how many since days? I was, since I was 45 years old, living, <laughs> living in a shack in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, things have got like <clears> – <throat> School holidays are yes. great. I love spending time. I actually do. Like you I, do. I do actually really. Because no like offence, you're a great mother. No offence, I'm really good at it. I told an excellent bedtime story last night. Did even you? This morning, it I killed. Up. It killed. <laughs> I destroyed uh, yeah, it. Yeah, it killed. Yeah. It was eight year old. And I went, I, like even even this morning, I was sitting at the, at the, the kitchen bench. Yeah. I was drinking my coffee. And I said to Lucas, I bragged. I said, Do not talk to me before bed. I have my morning coffee. That's what he said. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Where's my chocolate? Where's my chocolate? And I said to him, my bedtime story last night was amazing. He asked no details. Yeah. I mean, because he didn't care. Yeah. But I was like so proud of it. So I do like spending time with my kids. Yeah. So kill me. Sue me if you want. I won't. Or kill. Did you like my, my, um, my New Year's Eve message to you was just, but first, coffee. Yeah, I did. So you start the New Year. I did. And you I actually, right. your, your messages do make me ruffle. Oh, yours do too. Yours oh. make me ruffle. Actually, this is a nice moment. Delete it. Don't, don't put this in. People will hate it. Segment one today, letter to your aunties writing in this week. We have two gorgeous people. Oh, I love the letters. You know I love the you, letters. You love saying. them so much. You love them so much. I love problem solving. You love problem solving. Yeah. We always solve problems. Dear aunties, my mum is really rude to my partner. Mm. She doesn't like her because she's convinced she's wanting me to move out of town. What do I do to get her to be nice? I've tried having conversations, but nothing is working. From Sam. Isn't that nice? Great name. It is a great name. Was it you? It was me. I wrote that. Okay, great. So, Sam, is she trying to make you move out of town? I don't want to talk about it. I'll write in next week and I'll tell you. <laughs> I need time. I don't, I don't, yeah, so, okay. So, partner, not, so, so mum is we not being know. nice to the partner. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Also... Like, it would be annoying if you raised your kid for that long. Yep. And then they just left. They like, just I always walked find out. it really interesting when people move internationally. Move anywhere. Move at all. You should never move. Brunswick's great. Brunswick's a great part of the world. Stay there forever, children. <laughs> children. Maybe not in my house. No, get down out of my house. Move down on the next street. street. Yeah. Down the street. And then, like, wave at me. Like, we can oh, be acquaintances. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it. move it a little bit. Kick that can down the road a little exactly. bit. As your kids, the but can. It, when they have, you know, like, when people, when your kids move far away. Like, or my mum's had f- six kids. Mm-hmm. And only three of them still live in Canberra. Really? Yeah, the rest of she us. She misses you all. Wait, is there only three? Anyway, I think only three of us. Yeah, three live there. And I, I, I know I she's never, like, angry. No. But I would be, like. If I if I were her, I'd be like, mm, well, I have only have three that I like. Yeah, I would. And I I would probably hire heavy. Do you know what I mean? Like you get you get someone to so you got you and you don't have to know someone this tough. Like you know, not everyone knows people like you and I, Bron. That's heavies. Right. Heavy <laughs> people girls. that will heavy push girls. you around. You and I, we're heavy girls. We're thick with two C's, <laughs> and we love that. No, but 
if you if you want, you could hire someone to push the mum around. Push so, the mum around. Yeah. So go to the mum and go. If you're going to be rude to whatever the partner's name is, yeah. I'm going to come for you and I'm going to get you. Wow, it's interesting because you went straight for you were worked against the mum instantly. Yes, like you really didn't like the mum. Didn't, didn't like away. the mum. Well, I'm, I'm on Sam's side. Whatever Sam's talking about, I'm on Sam's side. As a fellow Sam, I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm on the mum's side. Wow, as a mother. Yes. Well, okay. What would you like, do? Is the, what, what are you thinking then? I would. If you, work if you think out, you're so smart, <laughs> Sam, work out: Is she trying to move you out of the city? And if she's not, say to the mum. I'm not leaving you, Mum. Yeah. I appreciate all of the selfless things you've done for me. I don't think you listened to the letter right. What do you mean? She was rude to the girlfriend who's trying to take him away from the city that his mum raised him in. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant that. Okay, so, yes, yeah, sorry. I thought she just said um, she doesn't like her because she's convinced <laughs> she's wanting me to move out of town. Yeah. So the, the, the partner is the partner's trying to take Sam away. Yeah. And the mum's like, doesn't like her because oh, of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you I, not I misunderstood. Oh, wow. I misunderstood and I'm so sorry. But I'm still going with him, man. <laughs> heavy that, ladies. I can't move me with that. Bring heavy, the heavy, heavy girls lady. In. Bring, bring them in. Bring the heavy girls Let's in. bash the mum. Yeah. Yes, bash the mum. Okay, so you're saying you're saying what? So you're saying the mum. Uh, find out if the mum. Find out if the girlfriend. Is really trying to do that. Is actually trying to do that. Yeah. Okay. Because it seems like a really strange thing for the mum to be upset yeah, about. Yeah, okay. And if mum she misses is, the kids, well, I know yeah. the mum's gonna miss. The kids. So if the mum, if the girl is saying, if the girl is saying, "Hey, Sam, we gotta go. We have to leave. Yeah, cities. Yeah, we have to leave. There's the a fire city. coming. We need to leave. <laughs> we need to leave. Leave your mum. <laughs> leave your mum behind. It says, "Leave all your personal possessions behind. Leave your mum." Leave your mum. You have got to leave your mum. Meanwhile, the mum's standing in the house, full of smoke. Bring my son back. You've got to leave your mum. You've he's, got to leave your mum. It's mine. me or your mum. Whoa. Whoa. Or the fire. Or the fire. You can choose the fire if you choose, want. Choose the choose fire. One angry choose lady. wisely. <laughs> choose the fire. Your pure fire. Fire emoji, fire, fire emoji, fire emoji. <laughs> it's all in text. <laughs> so flirty. Um, so flirty. You need to ask, are you actually leave? Are you actually trying to take me away? Yeah. And if she says no, that's crazy. I love... Bendigo. I love Bendigo. And then say to the mum, no, we're not, I would never leave you. Thank you for what you've done for me. Yeah, in my okay. Life. I've been so ungrateful. Yeah. And then, and then, um, I, or if the girl says, yes, I am leaving Bendigo mm. and I'm taking you with me, oh God my damn God. it. Yeah. You have to then think, do I want to leave? And if you don't, you don't have to go, Sam. Maybe no, she's not the girl for Sam. you. Maybe your mum's right. Maybe yeah. she's a dumb dog. Maybe she's a dumb dog. Holy, I can say it. Oh, I can't say it. You can't say oh, it. Oh, I can't say it. I'm sorry. I thought I could no say offense. it. No offense. No offense. That offense taken. So you say. <laughs> okay, look, I would just hire a hitman and get over Yeah. Break okay, her yours, legs. Is, yours is actually pretty just fast. break her legs. Dear aunties, my neighbour keeps parking in my spot. Every, oh. Same answer to the first question. See you, above. <laughs> I've just got someone I want you to hire. Bring in the bring Heavy in the big girls. girls. <laughs> Heavy <laughs> girls. My neighbour keeps parking in my spot yep. every day. We live in an apartment complex and every night when I'm trying to get home, there he is. I've tried leaving notes and I've tried parking him in, but he always finds a way out. What how? do I do, it's Joe? Just, just how is he getting got out? Got a shrinking of your car. Got one of them shrinking cars. Just picks it up, puts it over her car. It's the Hulk. It's Hulk Hogan. Oh my god. Could be. We don't know. That's... We actually don't know. God, you live in next to his Hulk Hogan character. He's turning green. He's <laughs> getting okay. angry. Hey, 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 hey. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll never get angry. You never would. <laughs> never would. Just to wear with you. Just to wear with us. Oh, yeah, you. that's what I do before a gig. You wouldn't like me when I'm a <laughs> wear with us. <laughs> then I come out. I'm ready. <laughs> and then everyone's like, why Everyone goes, he was okay. He's painted himself green for this. He was fine. He's really committed to this unpaid gig. Because Shrek is hilarious. Oh, Look my God, up. Are you like Shrek? Oh, my God. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Okay, so let me have a think. She spoken. I wonder, did she say that she's I think I had, had conversations, try parking him in every night. I think I think there must have been a conversation before this from Joe. I reckon Joe's made oh, some. You need to, like, you absolutely need to start putting nails in their tyre. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, know, that, I'm sure my na- an ex-neighbour of mine did that to me. But doesn't that, doesn't that mean you can't move at all? So you're just stuck in the spot? No. Well, you take it. It's a warning, isn't it? Oh, a dire it's warning. Either a nail in the in the tire yep. or a horse head in the bed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Depends if you can break which. break into the house, yes. What cut ca- the head off a horse, your nearest horse. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's your nearest mm. horse, no one will expect you. Well, that's right. They'll be that's like, right. it wouldn't be someone near here. Everyone loves Nelly. 
The horse. The horse is named Nelly. Gorgeous Nelly. Even loves her. She's Here's some carrots. She's got hey, I'll name. distract you with some carrots as I chop off your head. <laughs> with this knife I brought along. Easy to chop off a horse. Is it, head, okay, trust it me. is actually. Trust me on this. Trust you got to trust me on this. Me. No offense, so she but says. trust me. <laughs> so she says. So I say. Yeah, okay. So you would say nail? I would say. Die warning. Uh, yeah, nail. This was a warning. It happened to me once. Let me tell you a real quick story. I used to live with an accident nightmare. <sighs> An absolute nightmare. Her oh name was Brie. God. Yeah. Oh. Do you have a dream catcher? Oh, almost certainly. Almost certainly. Yeah. She was horrible. Yeah. Horrible, miserable, lonely uh. lady. About, uh, you know, in like a late 30s, had no visitors ever. We lived in a townhouse and uh, I had a baby and every time the baby cried, she would bash on the wall. Oh, my goodness. You don't need that. She, uh, and it would be like, you know, it could be like two in the afternoon. Yeah. And then a ba- baby's cry, Sam. Like, I've heard about look it. Look it up. Yeah. And then she'd bash on the wall and she would and, and in the middle of the night because yeah. our, our bedroom, like the main bedrooms, like they shared a wall. And she would yell through the wall. Our newborn baby was so tired and I was so anxious. And she would scream through the wall, Shut that thing up, you fucking rabbit. Oh my God. So she wasn't making sense. And I, yeah, they like it really trailed off. She she faded herself out. Yeah, well, she was yeah. so angry. She oh, was, that's anger. That's pure anger. <laughs> that's pure anger. Or she found God midway. You and I know. I don't know, Sam. I was okay. I don't the don't time, start shouting. Right, she was so she yeah. was she did really vindictive her. things. Yeah. And then one day, or well, parked in my spot. And then one day, there was a nail in my tire. I don't know for sure if Bree did it. I think it was Bray. I almost I am almost sure. Yep. Because like she was just trying to find ways to. And like I just I tried really hard to act like she didn't annoy yes, me. Like yeah, I didn't okay. notice her. Uh huh. But she was so she was like, okay, fine, that's not annoying her. I'll just put a nail in her tire of yeah. her Ford territory. How awful. And a Ford territory. I know. All they're the huge cars. tires. They are huge tires. Okay. <sighs> I don't like that one bit. I don't like Bray. I'm so sorry. I went off I, I just needed you to know. Like, Did I you say her name was Bray? Bray. Oh, I thought I just made that up for some no. reason. <laughs> I don't like Bray. It's going, who the fuck's Bray? Cheese? What do you hate Bray? I love cheese. I love cheese. Me? Yeah. I love cheese. So you're saying <laughs> a, a nail as a dire warning. Yes, it's a warning. Yes. Only if they're out of line. Okay. If they are not out of line. Yeah. E.g. they have a baby in their own house. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. And legal. Yeah. But okay. if they're parking in your spot, obviously illegal yep. in most states. Yeah. Look okay. it up. Look it up. I'm a lawyer. Legal team. Legal team. It's a giraffe in the yeah. corner. Oh, I would just use. Yes, I said. Would, oh, that's a legal team, the giraffe. Yes, it is. I would just have, I would have just drinks in the, in the, Car park, just have like it's my car park. I'll do what I oh. want in it, and you're just hanging out, flipping bergs, quit just going, job. "Hey, do what, yeah, quit your job, stay, stay there all time, like a stakeout." Oh my god! Yeah, that's yeah. Wear a fancy hat for it. Very too. funny, fancy hat. A funny, yeah, because so, so it's hat. like like it's like a message, but like a with a cute. Like that's a cute right. Undertone. Yeah, like, cute is she, one. Is she trying to? Play is she with mad me? at me or is she being fun? People don't know. Oh People don't know. And you're just there, and you're just hanging out all the time. Be overly nice. I think would be do great. Always invite them. Yeah. Park over me. Yeah, park over me. I'm going to get a car stacker put in here. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. just like drive over me just right Just drive now. over me. I've, I've got, got a hat on. Watch my hat. <laughs> Watch my hat. It spins. I've got one of the little spinning things. That's fun. Have fun with me. I think that's fun. Or the hitman again. Or the heavy yeah. girls. All the heavy girls. If you got, you can you know probably get a ready. loyalty card two for one. Yes. <laughs> meet up, meet up with Sam. You can have a two for one. Heavy girls are always ready. I've met heaps. <laughs> You've met heaps. <laughs> Looking at one right now. Exactly. If you have a listener letter, you can write into deardrunkaunties at gmail dot com or leave us a goddamn speak pipe. We'll put it mm. in the show notes. Yes, we love solving your problems. Oh, we love it, so, and we always aunties do. Aunties do, especially drunk aunties, aunties love it. That's right. <laughs> you ready? For live, laugh, love. I got some gorgeous little jokes for you today, Bron Lewis. Because you, can I, can I just say? Yep. Can I just say? I haven't liked a lot of them. You haven't liked a lot of them. No, that's right. I haven't, and so it is. I I don't know whether I'm a like a harsh audience, mm. or whether the jokes are shit. What do you think? That's a heavy girl thing to say. It and I love that you push me when you say that. Yeah, I, I say it with confidence. I think the jokes are a bit shit. Jokes aren't always hey. that great. Really? A lot of the time what? when people tell I've you a never, joke. I've never seen a bad comedian. Wow. That's a beautiful thing to say. And I've been to heaps of open mics. Okay. And every single one's been good. Okay. That's a lie. <laughs> what? I'm joking. <laughs> now I'm the one being hilarious. See how that the tables flip? Yeah. So you're right. What did the hurricane say to the coconut tree? Hold on to your nuts. 
This ain't no ordinary blowjob. <laughs> You like that one. I actually did because I just I thought it was going to end there and yeah. then it just kept going. Also, yeah. like, he gave a little bit of a voice to the fun home. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. She was having a really good exactly time. Exactly how I would talk to. Yeah. A naked man broke into a church. The police chased him around and finally caught him by the organ. Okay. Penis. Buy it. Lord, did he take it off? I don't know. Rested it on the ground. He was unwell. Get this man some help. He's actually bleeding to death. Stop making jokes. <laughs> don't, don't, stop making jokes about Come this. Come on. There's and no he's also gone in to try and find some hope because he knows he's dying because he's bleeding Oh, this, you made this a sad story. Hey, hey, hey. This is meant to be a joke. You did. You said the story. <laughs> you said the story. What's the difference between a pickpocket and a peeping Tom? One snatches your watch. The other watches your snatch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a pickpocket. One snatches your watch. Great. And then peeping Tom. <laughs> okay. Took a while with that one. Took but it's a fun. while, yeah. but it is fun. It also is fun. watches your snatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great Gross. verb. Great verb for perv. <laughs> what do you call the lesbian version of a cock block? A beaver dam. Okay. Doesn't really make sense, but. <laughs> it's literally no sense. Literally. And I say that word seriously and literally. <laughs> That's literally. That's actually literally. That's literally how I said it. Sixty nine percent of people oh. find something dirty in every sentence. That is. So that's not really because you you found it dirty straight away. You're like, ah. Oh. I was and like, here we nothing. go, another foul thing with oral sex. Why is sex like math? Oh. You add a bed, subtract the clothes, divide the legs, and pray there's no multiplying. Something about kids in the end, I think. You look so upset. The divide the legs. Yeah, divide the legs. What it's a bit are you gross. doing? Making four of them. Is cutting your legs down the middle. You should never uh, cut your legs down the never. middle. Never. Never. Not even for my love Divide making. Divide them. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> what do you call a smiling Roman soldier with a piece of hair stuck between the front teeth? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I am a woman. I'm very, I'm very visual. I'm a woman, a visual woman, okay? Mm. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So okay. I've got a Roman soldier <laughs> and he's got a pair. He's got a hair stuck yep. between his teeth. Mm. What do you call him? A gladiator. Disappointing. <laughs> You're imagining all these fanciful fun things. I was. And then I took you down this dirty path, and I'm so sorry about that, Bron. I know you are a visual Gosh. person, and sometimes these live, laugh, love jokes yeah, it was, aren't always fun. I wish it just ended at the ha- halfway point. <laughs> it was funny where it was. You like that. What do you call just it? Just leave it. And then, and, then, and then go, I've got to go to the toilet. And then you leave, and then the, the audience, yeah. me, yeah. I go, that's a funny bit. And that's then you a come funny back, bit. and then you carry on, and I forget. Oh, that, that it ever happened. That, yeah, because I'm happy with, I'm satisfied. <laughs> you got a weird taste in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> the comedian always leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me the rest of this joke. I'm liking it so far. <laughs> it's like how it was. Hey, would you leave us a little five-star rating or review? And if you leave us a review, we'll read it out on the goddamn yeah. Wine O'Clock podcast on Fridays. Yes. Tuesdays, this podcast comes out Friday, the Wine O'Clock. And there's always videos. A little mm. YouTube link YouTube. below if you want to check it out. I put lipstick on for it, especially. And especially. you look Especially. <laughs> especially. No offence, you look good. You hey. look good. No offence. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> no offense. Thank you so much. <laughs> and look, you can you can watch us. You can yeah. leave us a little uh, little gorgeous little letter. Dear aunties oh, at gmail.com. Dear drunk aunties at gmail.com. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, no offense. No That's offense. okay. That's okay. We all make mistakes. <laughs> and uh, leave us a speak pipe. Well, I love the speak pipe. You love them. Because you love oh people's voices, Bron. I do. I love to hear them. Yes. I love to experience them. Yes. I love to make fun of them. That's a bit. Cr- it's all correct. It's all Thank correct. You. <laughs> so you do make, that. You oh, can sorry. make fun of my voice. No, 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 whatever. Would. Not no, no, not me, not me personally. But the people, especially when I do the spooky one, I think I'm really good at the spooky one. You are really good at the spooky Thanks one. For saying that. Hey, should we move on to the spooky segment then? Oh! Since you brought it up, 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 I've been working on a new song. It's hey, awesome. it's good. It's a, is that rap? Yep, that was rap. That's called rap. Wow. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Real proud of myself when you look up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a proud boy over there. <laughs> proud boys, very dangerous. Very dangerous. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't. Very do. dangerous. Way more dangerous than heavy girls. Way, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna look at both of them, I'd yeah. be way more scared of. You way look, more skilled. You'll know, be skilled if you. Oh, I'd be skilled. You're thinking about an adjective, and you're also thinking about a gender. Yes, that's true. That's you true. Know, if you're that's true. Of these <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay, you ready? Yep. This spooky story, mm. it's not long. 
Okay. But spooky. Doesn't need to be with your spooky what do you mean? stories. They don't need to be you long. Said, I thought you said, I thought that was the brief. They have to be very long. They have to be very long. <laughs> very long. The longer the better. They have to dip for a bit and bring them back up. <laughs> but they have to be scary. But they have to be scary. That's the only quite we are. They have to be scary. What's your criteria? Um, How to be scary? Scary. Scary. I like a scary. Scary. Girl. Up. <laughs> Look up. Scary. Up. <laughs> Very proud. So proud. You're proud to see me. Very proud to see you. Twenty four ninety five. I see it. Thank you. Okay, this one's called the title. There's no subtitle here. There's no like Don't subheading. Need Don't need one. Okay. When's that scary? The impish ghost. <laughs> <laughs> This is scary already. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Things, but I you need, do know I a need, lot of things, actually. Thanks. Thanks. And I need to know. Mm. I need to know how this story goes. Okay? Correct. Correct. My neighbour, Diane, and I had a playful poltergeist for years. And we called it Billy. Sure. Scary. scary. I'd come home and find something put in a weird place. Milk in a cupboard. Toilet paper. In the fridge, laundry detergent in the bathtub. Okay, mum. Billy. Billy. <laughs> Billy, is that you? You told Billy? me to keep my milk in the pantry. Also, this person has dementia. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Diane once asked if Billy had been around because she couldn't find a gallon of milk. <laughs> it seemed like too much. It's like way <laughs> too much. Way <laughs> spooky. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hard to lose as well. Hard, a gallon. Hard to lose. I literally don't know what a gallon is, Me but neither. it sounds like it sounds, it sounds spooky. <laughs> it sounds like a bath. At least seventy liters. <laughs> at least I'm talking at least. And let's not look it up. I think it's fun. Let's not do our own research. Let's not educate ourselves. I this don't. We don't have need time for this shit. No, I'm talking about an impish ghost. I'm talking. And seventy liters of milk. This is spooky. Had Billy been around because she couldn't find a gallon of milk. So much. We finally found it outside on her back steps. And sugar. Darn sugar. Darn, darn sugar. Exclamation point. Darn sugar. Every morning, my sugar bowl was empty. Oh, no. So she had dementia and diabetes. Spooky. Spooky. That's scary. Health is scary. This is scary. I don't like this. This is so scary. When I'd had enough, I would point to Diane's home and yell, go see Diane, Billy. Just to no one? Mm. Well, to Billy. Oh, to Billy. Come on, keep up. What do you mean? Within five minutes, I'd get a call from Diane. Thanks a lot, she'd say. He's gone and put shenanigans in my house. (laughs) He's put shenanigans in my house. Put him. Next to her 70 litres of milk that she found on the back. Well, thank you, Billy, the impish ghost. Always use his full title. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, sorry. Thanks a lot. This occurred for the entire two years we lived there. Yeah. Yeah. No one believed us. Pardon? Why? Pardon. <laughs> Excuse me. Why wouldn't they believe you? Oh, pardon, Miss Harden. What are you talking about over <laughs> there's there? There's a chicken in your garden. Oh, there's a chicken in your garden. Not even our husbands. And husbands, as we know, are idiots. <laughs> they can be. They can be. They you don't know. have one. I don't have one. That's I don't why. have one either. I think they're idiots. 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 They believe anything. <laughs> believe anything. Stupid idiots. Stupid, you stupid. My mother thought someone was stealing from us when we were sleeping or out of the house. Mums would think that. Mums, mums, that's mums. mums Aunties wouldn't. Aunties wouldn't. No, they Aunties know. Aunties know what's what. Billy. <laughs> they know. My sister, everyone in the family has something to say. My sister believed something was going on, but didn't know what. Idiot. 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 Oh, sisters are. They are. This is the last sentence, okay? okay? Scary. I still can't explain any of it. <laughs> Oh, that freaked me out. Yeah. That freaked me out. That's a scary that's a scary one. Okay. Is what, that your scariest your fa- yet? Uh, mm, <laughs> I, think I think it's think one scary. of our scariest ones has been one that was deleted. <laughs> what? No, I think that was pretty scary. My favorite can you tell me your favorite bit if you can remember any of it? Or were you, were we, were we, were the we gallons enchanted? of milk was definitely yeah. my Maybe you were enchanted And the calling by my out voice. with the with the um with Thank the sugar. You. 
thank you. Go see Diane. And then Diane would call her and say, he's gone and put <laughs> shenanigans in my house. Billy. Billy, you shouldn't be doing that. Just talk to, well, don't talk to Billy like a dog. Yeah, don't talk to Billy like a dog. Billy doesn't deserve that. No, he's got diabetes. He's got diabetes. He's, he's not well. He eats a bowl of sugar a day. He's not well. And he puts... And, and he's drinking off milk. It's on the back stairs. That's right. <laughs> Open the fridge. Make the fridge easier. Yes. For Billy to get yes. into it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, that was that was so spooky. Spooky. I mean, I'm trying Did to. Did you read it in the day? It. Did you read it? In the I, day? I had to read. I started to read it last night, and I was like, no, it's a bad <laughs> no. idea. No, 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 no. Not for me. Not for me, Billy. No, Billy, Diane. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know what the all the main characters. Are. Yeah, the main. Yeah, <laughs> and the poltergeist. <laughs> the poltergeist. Protagonist, poltergeist. <laughs> All the main characters. Person. Let's yeah. move on to the next thing. Would you rather? Oh, yes. Oh I love goodness. this one. This is it actually brings me so much joy thinking it. of these. This is fun. Yeah. This is fun. Would you rather have three hands <laughs> or spinach always stuck in your teeth? So I know you hate things stuck in your teeth. That's why I thought of this one. Yeah, I do. You do. You get upset about it. But three hands. Wait, can all, are all three functional? Yes. I think I'd do spinach in my teeth and just never <laughs> smile again. That's good because you don't want your three hands. Would it make you a better hands. mother? Not that you could ever be a better mother, but would it make you a better mother? You. That's very kind of you. No very offense, accurate. you can never very, be a better mother. That's very accurate. <laughs> I actually couldn't, I'm flawless. Um, I think I would uh, – no, well, because – is it just hanging off the wrist? Where's the third hand? Coming don't out of your – it's coming, look at me it's coming like out of I'm your chest. Idiot. Oh, it's coming out of my chest. Yeah. Well, you have to bend down. <laughs> You do push-ups with it. <laughs> but, well, but it's only a hand, so the push-ups would be so little. So little, so little. Because it's not – you haven't given me like a forearm with a hand. Okay, a it's a forearm. It's forearm and okay. a hand. I like, if you could just make your would-you-rathers a little okay. bit more I don't thoughtful. have time for this. <laughs> I don't take feedback. If you could just I actually think, don't have time for this. I don't actually before have you write the most important question of the week, that would be great. Would you rather kiss a cat every morning on the mouth – or have to find a four-leaf clover every time before you can go home. Oh my god! Okay, that's the hardest one. That's the hardest one. Because I, I'm a very impatient person. Yeah, but I also, and this is going to be divisive. Yeah, I don't like cats. You don't like cats. I don't like cats because when they rub against, like they always rub against your leg, and you can feel their skeleton. Yeah, it's not Diggs a skeleton, and that doesn't weird me out as much as it does a tiny. Why cat. Why always touching Diggs a skeleton? Because he offers. Please touch my skeleton. <laughs> and also, have you heard me sing? He says that to me. <laughs> he does. He does that a lot. And I'm like, oh, my God, Diggs. Oh, no, Diggs, again. please. I'm trying to record a podcast. <laughs> and he's just warming up. La, la, <laughs> la, la, la. Diggs, shh. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fine. I'll touch your skeleton if you stop singing. He hates when I say that. He hates um, that. I don't – I think I'd I think I'd have to kiss a cat on the Kiss mouth. a cat. Because a four-leaf cloak could take forever. And ugh. before you go home as well, so you'd be late, you'd be like, exactly. oh, I need to go home, I want to go to bed. It's, a, it's just like I don't, I'm not a puzzle person, you know, mm-hmm. in the pandemic, everyone started doing puzzles. Yep. I actually, someone gave me one, I was like, fine, I'll try. Infuriating. Yeah, yeah, Because like at the, the start, worst. you're like, okay, let me just scan, I'll scan this little, co- and then you go, if I just look at the whole thing, yeah. maybe I'll find it. And then you look, and you can't, because nah. you're looking at the whole fucking mess. It's impossible. Impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible to me, impossible to you. It's correct. It's correct. And the people who do do them online, yeah. I'm always like, and they like post a picture. I'm like, yeah. oh, one, bored, two, annoyingly impressed. <laughs> annoyingly impressed. Like, well done to you. You just nod. Them. They just would once. obviously choose. They would obviously choose. Obviously choose. The four leaf clover. That's right. I couldn't do it. I just stand. No. I just stare at a football field from Frying. from like a, a street away. Yeah. And hope that I could see just one. Just bawling your eyes out. Yeah. Because you're exhausted. And selfless. And. Can I just say this? No offence. Please. A wonderful mother. Oh, my God. That's come up a lot this, this <laughs> episode and thank God. Finally, someone said it. Okay, would you rather? I've just mm. got one for you. Okay, great. I wonder, like, I wonder if you... And could. I'm ready for a baby doll. Oh, my God. I wonder if this is going to be hard for you. Okay. Would you rather be the guy that still says, am I right? What's up? I still say that. <laughs> am I right? At the end of every sentence. At the end hey, of every... Uh, yeah. And so you'd say, yeah. in this case, am I right? Go, yeah, you'd say, I hate that. Am I right? Yeah. At the end of That's every what I'm talking sentence. about. So that too. Oh, that is. Am I right? Am yeah. I right? Yeah, okay. Be the guy that still says, am I right? At the end of every sentence. Okay. Or date a girl at the end of every time you kiss her, she says, am I right? At the ev- <laughs> As if she doesn't know she's saying I should it. just kiss me and goes, am I right? Go, yes. You were right, I guess. <laughs> 
But every single every single sentence you say, Emma, right? Or the girl of your dreams, beautiful lips, very kissable. Mm. You say to her, you kiss her, and then she says, Emma, right? And she doesn't know she's saying it. I think I think date the girl that says it at the end of each sentence because you just get used I, to it. Yeah, you get used to it, and I couldn't be that person to say it after every because I'd, I'd try and cover it, like I'd say it into my shirt or something. I go, oh, like, um, can you give me example? Yes, yeah, so I go. So yeah, of course. I go. Because <laughs> you're, you're ready. I, go, I was ready. I go. Uh, yeah, Bron, uh, be so nice if we have a wine after this. Am I right? Okay. So I do. I, it looked like I'm right. like I'm just kind of talking to myself. I make it like a tick. Okay. Yeah. So, so you wouldn't. But you're still not that doing. Person. You still don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Tick. I don't want to do okay, that. I think. Tick, but you do want to give this impediment. Yes. To the woman. That's correct. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. So when she, it could be cute. Why are you being like this? Hey. Why are we having a fight over this? <laughs> Why are we fighting? <laughs> because you just, I don't know, you've upset me today. Okay. And so Let's she, just move on to the next segment. So when she says, she kisses you and then she says, am I right? Will you respond? I'll go, you are right. At every the, time. Every single time. <laughs> every time. You are right. You are actually right. You're Imagine right. if you did You're that. You are right to kiss me. You're, you were right. You were right. Good decision. Oh, no, no. Okay, so this happens, right? So every time kiss. Am I right? Correct. Oh, yeah. Wow. That, that's, that's like because you can make it your thing. That's quite yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that is actually really yeah, nice. Yeah, correct. And a couple that I would definitely never hang out with. <laughs> well, we wouldn't be kissing in front of you. I don't know. Time. Maybe Some we Some people would. do. You know, yeah. you know friends that, that – Yeah, yeah, like, too much. Come on. Quit it. Come Get on your it. lips off it. Oh, give your beautiful lips off each other. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what you say. say hey, Bron, should we move on to the next segment? Yes, please. Does this exist? Yeah, great. Now, you've oh, got one of these. I do. Way. Okay, does this exist? Yes. Okay, it's an invention. Okay, I'm ready. First one. Mm. High heels made from recycled acrylic nails. A beautician in Norway was frustrated by the waste her salon created from the discarded acrylic nails, so she designed a high heel that was a rem- that was made from recycled acrylic nails. The niche design set customers back 200 Australian dollars. It does sound like a good invention. Yeah. If well, it could hold hard, up. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it yeah. could hold up, well, if it could done. Hold up. If it high heel up. <laughs> well done. That's a weird one. I didn't. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. It's very aware we still. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let logic get in the way. Can I tell you something? Aware That's aware we <laughs> Okay, second one. A bikini made from fish skin. Ooh, okay. This beachwear introduced in 2003 mm. is made from tanned salmon skin. Um, the company is based in London. Sell them for over $500. Oh, my goodness. Okay, quite premium. Yeah. Primo. All right, the third one. Mm. I just need a minute. Because I know you made I this know. one up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your body language is pretty easy to read on this one. Okay. Would you be great at playing poker? Okay, wait. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's just like a co-host that shuts the fuck up. I go, oh. <laughs> Actually hurtful, bro. No, because like I said, yep. I'm a very visual person. Yes. So this one, when I read on read it online, yes, it actually made me. Okay. Okay. Does this exist? The third invention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say. It's going to be good. Whatever it is, it's going to be good. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I'm pumped up. <laughs> I'm pumped up. Okay. <laughs> you can do this. You got this. I got it. You got this, baby doll. Just think of something sad. My life. <laughs> no. Think of my life for a bit. <laughs> Diggs is crying out there. Okay. Does this exist? Oh, fuck. You're like, um, I'm on Kathy Kimmel and their bloopers, which kill me. Oh, you love bloopers. Have you seen Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, the end of that. Yeah, those bloopers. They're really good. I like those ones. Oh god, they're so silly. Okay, does this exist? Yeah, false eyelashes made. (laughs) It's going to be amazing when you get there, and I'm just excited about you getting there. (laughs) I'm pumped up. Um, When I found this online, yep. 
this real thing, I thought it was funny, but I yeah. didn't realise just how funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you might not think it's funny at all. But you're not Even a visual. Better. You're not a visual. I'm not a visual lady. person. I'm not a visual girl. Okay, false eyelashes made from old sticks. <laughs> you make this one up. <laughs> Give me out. Give me yeah. out. Give me okay. out. You don't know who made it. I don't know what year. That'll help. <laughs> Where was it made, Bron? And what year? Okay. How much? <laughs> An environmentalist in Nepal. Wanted to combine her love for nature and her love for beauty by creating a product that celebrated both of them. Okay? Gotcha. In 2021, with the current craze of enormous eyelashes <laughs> uh, and the excess of old sticks everywhere. You'd see everywhere. Them there. I'd, say, I'd actually say Diggs loves heaps. them. You can get them in Nepal for $5. Imagine if okay. Diggs saw a beautiful woman with those. He'd try and catch them. He'd try and fetch with them. False eyelashes made from old sticks. I think this one is the one you've made up. Okay. I want to throw a, like a, a spanner in the works yes. and say I've made up two. Oh, my goodness. I There's only you made one up. real one there. I, so, I like, yes, fine. Fine, you got me. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> oh, we're going to regular Sherlock Holmes over here. Have we a real Hercule Power? Oh my Are you a Hercule Power? <laughs> How cool by well. Oh, my God. Uh, or, okay, the other one. I almost think killed me. The, the way, one Sarah. you made up was the, the fish, the fish bathers. You made the fish bathers. Yeah. Mm. This is your final answer. Yes. False eyelashes made from sticks. Yes. And, and the bikini made from bikini fish skin. bikini made from fish skin. You're, you're wrong. Oh, wow. I made okay. up the acrylic nails, high heels. Yep. And I also, like. Also made up the false eyelashes made from old sticks, but I did not make up a bikini made from fish skin. Oh, I lose. Yeah, they, I lose poorly. They it would otherwise have been have become chicken feed. Okay. So why? Like so, it was obviously being used. Yeah, that's and interesting. And who? Five hundred dollars old fish skin. I would never. I, if I'm honest with you, mm. I also wouldn't either. Can I be honest with you? Please. I wouldn't either. No offense. No but offense. I love your honesty. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I'm no, that's gonna so need, funny. I'm gonna need. We'll have a, a little break after this. That's holy so funny. Holy shit! Can we move on to the final segment today. Yes. Life hack. Have you got a life hack today? A life hack. Yes, I do. Oh, Obviously, yeah. I always do. You always okay. do, oh, no, honey bun. Great. This one is okay, actually really handy because. All right, Sam. Chicken. When yes. we are recording this right yes. now. Yes. In two thousand and two. Yes. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but this is um, we it's not it's not uh, long since New Year's. It's okay. not. It's not. It's just. It was actually not that long ago. Actually, it wasn't. Actually, it wasn't. New Year's. Um, and everyone makes New Year's resolutions. New Year's. Did, same you, have, did you have one? I actually do. What is it? Uh, so I and this is this is actually mine. It's um rose all day. No, it's um yeah. my my yeah. my New Year's resolution is uh this really sounds like I'm making it up, but I'm not. It is, it is work smarter, not harder. Great, because great I I, I like got it. I got a bit physically exhausted la- at the end of last year. I had a bit of burnout, like yes. physical burnout. You do do a lot. I do do a lot, and I went. I'm just going to actually just cram stuff when I'm doing it, get it all done, and then I'm going to yes. actually book in time to be right off. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, so that was my. What was yours? That's your a great one. one. Oh, I was trying to try and get fit, but my back's too sore. I went to oh, the gym, okay, and yep. it was sore, and so I've never been back. And I said, even even emailed the gym last night, and I said, "Excuse me, my back's too sore to keep going. Could I just cancel that?" Mm. And he said, "I'll book you in for two free PT sessions, and we can work out how to help you back." Oh, I just thought he didn't listen to what you <laughs> didn't read it properly. Thanks for the Perfect. Comment. You'd like to come more? Okay. Yes. We can work that out. Anyway, I'm going to go see him. And okay. See he That's can't good. Fix see if he can it. do he it. He can't fix it. I'm getting yeah. two free sessions out. Yes. Thank you so much. I love my gym, but I can't go. My back's too sore. So my already this early in January, um, my I'm not going to ever get fit, uh, which is a bit sad. But you were doing lots of skipping and stuff, weren't you? I was, yeah, at the gym. And yeah. Then my back got so sore. Oh, then, uh, yeah, of course. I was okay. doing lots of stuff and then my yeah. back got really sore. Yes. And then, um, yeah, so my back's just like made of chalk. It's so annoying. Well, no it's offense. Fine. You look fantastic. Thank you. I'm not eating. If you, uh, if you, if you have, this is a, actually a life hack, okay. which is great. If you're quitting smoking. God, just let me. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. I'm going to start this start year. I'm starting this year. Another news resolution. My news resolution. Yeah. <laughs> if you're quitting smoking or simply wanting to feel included in the Siggy section. God, I do. Yeah. 
light a sparkler and pretend it's a cigarette. Oh, okay. So you just stand there in the smoker section with the sparkler. You will look insane, but sure. Hey, you will be included. Someone will start maybe- singing happy birthday. <laughs> oh, an auntie coming in. Oh, happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> I love that hack. It's just so insane. It's like, it would hurt your tongue. It would. And also, you put it in your mouth. <laughs> Wrong, Wrong way. <laughs> commit. Commit to the singing. Because how long have you got before it starts sparkling down? Not I'm sure that's what it's called. It's <laughs> Not burning. Sparkling down. Oh, God, that's sparkling down fast. Well, I think they only last like about 20 seconds. Like, yeah. how, uh, did you just write your name in, with them? Yeah. I, I, used to, well, I, used to, I used to be a fire twirler, so I had... <laughs> Can only afford sparklers. Did you? No. no. Imagine. Imagine. I would have to leave instantly. That should be something. When I have my dreadlocks. Oh, my You know, when I have my dreadlocks. I feel like that's something when you meet someone that should be like, you know how you move into an area and yeah. you're in a new <laughs> suburb and you're like a, a, a sex offender. Like yeah. everyone should know that about you. I'm a fire twirler. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an insane thing. Yeah. To, but a fun, God's a fun thing. Oh, so handy. So sexy. <laughs> That's a great life hack. No, do you think? I like that. Sparkler. Yeah. Put a sparkler in that back pocket, baby girl. Baby girl. Or rock, tuck it in girl. your sleeve like people do cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> can I bump one? Here's a sparkler. Here's one. Imagine going up to someone. Can I bump it? Or trying to, or trying to light donkey it on someone. Donkey root. <laughs> no, donkey root. You can. You can. With a sparkler. Of course, with a sparkler. You can do anything. Another sparkler. <laughs> hey, everybody, baby dolls, please do leave a five-star rating on whatever app you're on right now. That helps get the podcast out there to as many people as possible. Leave a five-star review and we'll read please. it on the next one. Yes. 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 We are your drunk aunties. Yes. Cheers. We're having fun. Go we're having fun. Cheers. We're cheers. cheers. everywhere. Everywhere. We can't stop cheersing. With my $24.95 mug. Oh, God. And that nice? should let it go. I haven't, we're having black coffee at the moment. I'm going to have a Jans after. I love the Prosecco. Are you? Yeah. I'm going to talk about my new tattoo. That's a good forward sell. Oh, my God. That's fun. Anyway, look, we love you. We love you. Thank you so much for listening to the goddamn podcast. Look after yourself. Look after yourself. Take care of your mental health. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls. (laughs) Goodbye.